guys um so another process video this is i started it and i forgot to press record on my camcorder um so this is a picture of tips our three-legged cat just lounging on top of the cake box in the sun this was in february um quite early on in February I think um, so yes I've just mounted it on this strong pea um, paper which I have had for years I've no idea where it came from but yeah um, and then I choose this paper as background this came from the range um, I think last year, maybe the year before. Um, I can't remember what the collection's called because I've thrown out all the rubbish. Um, so yes, I'm just adding this black sort of corner bit to the photo because one side of the photo is quite dark. Um, so I wanted to balance that out. So just using double-sided tape for everything. Um, apologies if you can hear my fish tank in the background. I am sitting at my desk for once to do this um, rather than in my room or at the dining table. And my fish tank is right next to my desk. So yeah. So I have a play about with these couple of scraps. Um, which I'd trimmed off but I decided to leave it and actually I um, do trim the longer black bit um, which you'll see in a minute oh, excuse me yeah there we go trimmed it so I used the I think the hexagons on the background I used the different colours of those to give me um, like the colours for the layers I use um, on the uh, photo layers, whatever you want to call them. I don't know. I might do it. I'm like filling in gaps. Don't know why I filled in those little gaps. I wouldn't have needed to. So what am I doing here? Looking on my phone, I think. Oh, I think I was replying to a text. I should have edited this out. Sorry, guys. Guys, I completely forgot that uh, this happened. Um, I'm really bad about doing this. Uh, I was either writing or replying to a text or doing something. I have no idea what I was doing, but it was something on my phone. Um, so yeah. And I'm back uh, to take all the backing off of uh, the double sided tape. I use tweezers for this because tweezers just make it so much easier. Um, especially since a couple of weeks ago I bit all my nails excuse me yawning um i bit my nails down for the first time since i had braces like i bit them right down really short no idea why i just did so i used this yellow um it's like i suppose paint stroke sort of patterned paper from the same um one as the greeny stripy one um, and then I get some circles which I punched for a another project. I'm not sure if I videoed that project. Um, I might not have done, um, but I might have done. I'm not sure. Um, but never mind, it doesn't matter too much. Um, so I go with the darker ones. Um, I'm having some trouble with my double sided tape. So these are from punched out from a paper from the first edition Sweet Nothings pad um, which if you look around you probably could find it 
Um, and then I choose this pink paper, which is like all sort of like looks like it's sort of been inked and then had water squirted, like wiggled over it. I've no idea what I'm saying. Um, but you can probably work out what I mean. Um, so this, again, from the same um, pack as the stripy, greeny stripy one and the yellow paintbrushes one. Um, so I've had these papers probably pff, at least 10 years because um, they were bought for me by my granny um, with a load of art stuff for my birthday when I was about 10. I think but I can't remember I might have been younger I might have been a bit older um, so originally what I was going to do is cut was um, cut around the circles um, so that the circles were bordered but then I changed my mind and just decided to keep it as a square excuse me Um, so yeah, or rectangle or whatever shape it technically is. Um, so then I'm just putting tape on the back. So that is the last of my paper layers, photo layers. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, you know what I mean. Um, I'll, I'll put my phone down because I'm getting distracted by uh, the Harry... Hogwarts mystery Harry Potter game thing, which I've got on my phone. Uh, it's rather addictive. But anyway, um, so yes. Excuse me. Um, so these are some stickers which I have designed myself. Um, I haven't, I still haven't played with my silhouette portrait. Um, I have turned it on. Um, <laughs> but I had some difficulty with the software freezing um, so these are some stickers which you can get in my Etsy well you can't get them in the sticker format yet in my Etsy shop um, but you can download the like original doodle doodles in my Etsy shop um, so because they're not, um, what's the word? Kiss cut, I think is the word. Um, and I've just had to cut it out from the paper. It's really difficult to get the backing off of the sticker paper. So I just decided to use some double sided tape. I'm yawning again. And then for the title, I use these black simply created alphas. I won't be buying these again. They're cheap and you can tell because as you can see they fall off the backing thing that they're just a nightmare. So my title is same as the title of this video of the video Sleepy Cat. Um so yeah, so now I've worked out where I'm going to put my time tool so I stick down, take off all the double sided tape which takes forever and then stick down um, my photo layers. Another yawn. <sighs> I am sorry, I don't know why recording voiceovers make me make work makes me yawn um, and my brain isn't functioning either. I um, don't know why. It's not like I've done much today. Um, so I'm just getting all the letters out which I need. So this is a brand new pack so I know I'll have all the letters. Um, so yes. And I do just use double sided tape to make sure these are stuck down. And you can see it, but I'm really not that bothered. I could not be bothered to get out my wet glue. Um, so yeah, I just use double sided tape. 
<sighs> oh, excuse me, that was another yawn. Um, so, yes. And I don't think I've got sleepy straight either. Um, but I'm not that fast. And then I had the idea... I wanted to use up some of these other bits. Just because I know I won't use them for most things. Um, so I just used like the... Um, fancy brackets. No idea what they're called. Um, just to look as though I've put a like tag or something behind. Um, and then I used the... I don't know what they're called, but like the chevron type things because they look like cat cac ears, cat ears, and a couple of the full stops to be eyes. Um, just because I don't really have any cat themed stuff. Um, so then I add one of these stickers. These just came from the works, I believe. Um, just took off the foam pad off the back just because, you know, didn't really need that much 3D-ness. Um, just to add a bit of, um, a bit more blue, bluey, greeny-ness into it. And I also add a butterfly as well. Um, and then, lastly, I add, I think, some pearl, um, Yeah, I just add some um, pearl and gem things, sticky back thing, dot things. Um, so, yes, uh, I think I'm just rummaging through my uh, stash at this point. But that's all I do. I add those um, like pearly, gemmy, gem sticker things, um, which you will see some point come on yep here you go um so these are ones i've had in my stash for a few years so yes and then that's yeah that's the last thing i do so thanks for watching please comment like and subscribe if you'd like to see more scrapbook process videos like this the next one is um involves carrots and rabbits that is all I am going to say. So yes, thanks for watching. Bye.